Good morning, boys and girls. I do a little review here of the points we've got done and what's left here. So, since the last time we met, I finished all the rigging that goes on the rear sail here. A couple more lines that'll be tied in later on, but the sail part is done on both sides. So now, of course, we finished the middle ones here through the middle. Got them all in their perspective tie points. And then this oddball, this was the only pulley in the whole kit that was this shape of that size. I found out where it went. And we did the tie off like it's supposed to be. And then we got the other two done with their hoops in the tie off. So we're starting to fill up that bolo pin block. And the one there in the front. All the little pulleys and stuff. So this rope here is so they can roll the sail up to the rope that holds it. The same with this one. Roll up sail ropes. And the other ones are stretch ropes to stretch it out. So there's the detail on that funny one. We got these all done here. So before I do these three in the front, I'm going to do that one on the very tip of the bow spirit. Put this one up here and sew it on. And then uh, we'll look at what ropes we need to finish tying off for these two before we do them little triangle ones there in the front. There's another detail there. That represents the yard arm that holds that sail. There's the other one. So there's two of the pulleys, and that'll be on each side of the yard arm. So we duplicate that. And we go down to 439 and 438. You can see there's a 439 and a 438 on both sides of the front of the ship that those four will tie off to. And that doesn't count the bottom part of the sail. It's a different drawing somewhere. So that's what we're going to work on today. Get that sail on.
question and next we're gonna and that little tail pulley that's hanging off the end of those yard arms we'll tie off up here first go through the pulley come back and go through the pulley up here and then down to the tie off point 484 and 485 and one's for the lower yard arm and the other one's for the upper yard arm. I just finished doing the tails on the bottom of these sails. Got them going to their perspective spots and then we did the ropes that hold the yard arm on both sides and their respective tie off points which is back down in here so I'm alternating between colors just to keep a little bit of perspective here. So now we're going to start up here, tie off, go down to this one first, come back through the pulley and then down, and we'll do the same on that side, and then we'll do these out here. So we got four runs to do, and I think after those four, and we yellow this off, everything in the lower part, the bow spirit will be done. And then we got the top sails that are running along these. But all this down here will be done. Okay, you can see the show you this first that way you know what we're looking at. That's the yard arm. This is the long pulley that's on there that was pre installed when we built that yard arm. So there's one on each end, there's four of them, and then there's two double blocks up here that were pre-installed on the mast. So we got a tie-off point up here, come down, go through this, go through one side of the double block and then down to the tie-off point 484 and 485. 484 and 485. We're on the side, port and starboard. Bolo pins. And the reason I'm highlighting these is because this is done Whenever I'm pretty sure I got something done, I like to mark it off. So, that's these two, one on each side, and two more up here. Go through the double blocks up under there. And down to the bolo pins. Got two tied off over there, two tied off over here. 
Now, because it's hard to get in there when you're tying them off, I uh, wrap that rope around the bottom of the bolo pin and get it to hook onto it. And then I can come up and wrap around the top one time. And that sort of grabs the rope and I can pull the tension that I need. Then I take the rope and make a loop and turn the loop upside down and pull it around the top of the bolo pin. And that's a normal shipping or you know, nautical um, upside down loop knot. You usually do two or three or four of them in real life. You don't actually tie a granny knot or anything like that. You turn the, make a loop, turn it upside down and wrap it around the pin and pull it tight and you repeat that three or four times and that locks that rope in place and it's easy to take off whenever it's time to undo it so I think of all the ropes in the front we got everything done except these three sails that go in here. That's these three here. We'll be doing them next. But all the work on these sails and all the tie points for all the pulleys, as far as what I can see in the prints, is done so we have a detail there that's our tie off points we had a detail here we got that one done Then we had another detail here, the bottom of the sails, and we got that one done. I think all the details for all the tile points in the front are done. Now we got to do these three sails. And then after those three, all we got left is the big ones and details and flags and all kind of crap oh and yeah i gotta paint my little people okay we're pushing forward Tying off these ropes. We got Two of the front sail done. One more to go after we get this tail tied off here. I think it's going to go through that top hole in that stanchion there.
do is make a loop <clears throat> and then turn that turn that loop upside down pull it tight let that dry before we cut it <coughs> that takes care of this tail here goes through that pulley through the eyes and that sleeve for the uh, moving my or the uh, bow mast call it the bow spirit We got one more rope to go through there from this top sail. Put that top sail on next. So that takes care of this tail. Four seventy two. That's the sail number. And this is the tail we just did. 473. And then the first one we did is 471. 471, 2, and 3. There's 473, we just tied that off. 471 came down from the mast. And 472 tied off on the other side. So. I've got a feeling 6970 gonna be yep there's 70 and there's 69 <clears throat> so that'll be this last sale here and then 468 will come down to the bolo pin Well, I'm going to rig up the last bow spirit sail. Yep, and put the pins on this side. Mark that. They got little rings on there. We're going to put tails on here and rings on it now, and then we'll be able to install it. Okay. Got the last one on. Now it's time for the big sails. So all those are done. All the tie points are done. You can see up here. That one is not because it goes over one of the big sail lines. So. <clears throat> one on both sides through a pulley off of the divot which might be what we do after we get those big cells sewn onto the yard arms might do that one in the front first <coughs> We gotta get all these sewed, sewed onto the yard arms. You don't want to try to sew them on while they're in place. It's gonna be tough enough. So, but 
everything all the perpendicular cells are done you can see those little tie points go through a block feet down tie off some of the vertical ones get their blocks up here there's a double block they'll go down that tie off around the bolo pins an upside down loop knot so progress thanks for watching